Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today I've been doing a series of videos on how to do this. And you can do it through Macro Mantra. Well, the first one was MacroMantra.com. And I stated in that video when I made this L, the L is probably the easiest. And then probably a T. And, and I said the B's and the D's. But if you use a block letter, so this is, well, I've already converted it to a curve. But it's just block letter right there. I'm not going to change mine. And you could have any letter, and it's kind of got these angles. So I just wanted to see if E-cuts would do it, and it does. Uh, just a couple things you need to think about, and I would do. You need to do the inside and the outside separately. So you need to nudge it over so you nudge it back. And then uh, I put them around there to make sure they fit. And they do. Maybe the only thing I would do, and I've done this before with other programs, is I would take the curved lines, which would be the angle, which would be these three, and make your male uh, finger just a little bit longer. So let's take this one right here, and let's rotate it back to zero. And so I'm going to take because this is at an angle, so it's gonna stick over a little, or need to stick out a little bit more. But if we set our nudge factor to like uh, 0 0.01, and grab our shape tool, grab these two nodes and just nudge them over, maybe a couple of times. Do the same thing with all four of your male parts. That'll give you a little bit extra room, because then when you sand it, you don't need to do it for the females, but you need to do it for that male and that male. And then when you take that turn, it's not really a turn, it's an angle, but that'll give you a little bit more sticking over past there because the distance is a little different. But Bs and Ds, uh, I would think the B would probably be the hardest. And what I was saying about doing them separately, and I would make sure I nudge stuff. Let's see how big this letter is. It's almost nine inches, so we'll set our nudge factor on nine, and we'll get this one out of the way, and we'll open up E-Cuts panel and go to, um, really do a finger joint, but we're gonna do the finger joint shape, and just hit apply, and it gives you those pieces. And this, this part, needs to be put, this part needs to be put back in there when you cut it out. So let's go to group and ungroup all. And even though E-cuts put it down here, we could probably put it right in that same spot. And it's your letter, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you could get it right on with snap to. And I'm not gonna take the all the time, but and then you could nudge that over. And that's where it needs to go. And then these four pieces would make up that interior. So that's what I was saying about doing them separately. And you could probably just use that same, same configuration for both boxes. And then you would do your outside. And just remember on both cases, you need to double this B. Uh, maybe it's a little glitch in the program because you need a front and a back. So that's going to be a little bit difficult, but it's done. You know, that must be a really little peak. There they are right there. And they'll slip in there. And again, same thing here. I would make this mail on this, on these outer curves, just a little bit longer. So when you sand them, you'll sand them flush. But just remember to make once you get, let's just do this. Uh, go to ungroup and ungroup all. Grab that. I think this is easiest done is break curve apart. And so you have your inside parts, but you want it here. So I, you could actually just place them in there because it's your font and get it, you know, use your nudge distance of 0 .001, grab that box and just nudge it down. There's probably a better way to do it and then control D. And if you use the same box, 
you could use these same parts up here for the, each box. But then just remember that when you do that, make another copy of that because you need one for the back. Anyway, I hope you helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.